Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we're going to go explore some tombs. That's right. So, today we're going to be taking a look at Tomb Raider Laura's Escape, and man, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of excited for this one. Um, I've been a huge fan of all of the Tomb Raider games ever since the original came out on PlayStation back in the day, and now well, the movies haven't been bad either, so a VR movie tie-in with my favorite game gaming franchise, Match Made in Heaven. Now, I'm also excited because I'm going to be filming this one today on my brand new phone. That's right. I, I You guys may remember last time on Lunchtime with my Gear VR, I showed you that I had shattered the screen of my S7, but I was going to power through it. Well, I got lucky and Verizon started doing screen replacements. Well, they came out to do mine and ended up screwing up the phone and had to give me an S8+. Plus. So super happy to say this thing records much better than the old S7 Edge. Got the new 2017 Gear VR because, well, you know, it wouldn't fit in my 2016 by like that much. But very happy with the new combo, very happy with the new way that it records. So let's stop talking about it and let's jump in there and take a look at Tomb Raider Laura's Escape. Okay, so here we are in the tomb, and man, I gotta tell you, right off the bat, this is freaking cool for a Gear VR title. I mean, nice, expansive environment here already. The, I mean, it just looks good. So, okay, so it looks like it is a point-and-click move system. I, I was hoping to be able to freely explore the tomb here, but uh, you know what, for free, I'll take it. So, all right, let's go. Ooh, nice sense of depth. Latch onto that rope. Oh, we got people coming. Um, oh, you guys don't look friendly either. So, all right, let's go. Very nice. Okay, so where do I go? Oh! Okay, it's behind me. So definitely going to want to play this one standing or in a swivel chair since you really have to make use of 360 degrees here. So, all right, let's go before those guys get down that rope. Onward into the tomb. Uh, hey, buddy. You're not looking so good there, bro. You got a rat on your head. Oh, well, now you don't have a head. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, let's go. Whoa! Bats! Oh, they're shooting the bats. My Laura Croft or the Batman here. Oh, now I got a bow. Okay, so cool. We got a little arrow here. I'll shoot you guys. Nah, let's just shoot what it tells me. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do some jumping action. Whoa! Yeah. Nice! Yeah. Oh, baby shooting! Come on, girl! Let's go! Well, if the guy's chasing you, you really don't have enough time to kind of. Uh, sit here and explore the tomb. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Alright, now we got a spiky ceiling descending on us. So we got four symbols here, four symbols there. So, okay. Okay, no. Nope. That one stayed in. That one stayed in. Go! Sweet! Stop the impending doom. Nice. I'm gonna trap those guys back there. Uh, 
Uh, hey man, I saw your buddy back there. He didn't look in any better shape than you are. Alright. Nice. Zip line action here. They made it through. And I'll tell you what, the environments in here are really decent. I mean, really big. Um, sense of scale is great. Uh -oh, up. Oh! Sweet. climbing action here. I'll tell you what, you know, doing stuff like this in the Gear VR feels so much better now that we have a uh, somewhat of a motion controller. But man, I still don't understand why these experiences don't come out for the Rift. Um, you know, um, even something, you know, like this would be really cool um, using the touch controllers where I would have had to climb right there. See what's in the box. Coffin action here. Push it, push it. Okay, so now we get a preview of the movie. I thought I saw that again. Which is not going to play too well on campus Wi-Fi here. So I think we'll go ahead and skip the video. And was that it? Oh, that was it. Alright, well that was short but sweet I guess. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and cap the video here. I thought this was going to be a little bit longer. But you know, these movie tie-ins are usually pretty damn short. And, yeah, I got my lunch waiting on me. But, you know what? For free, really short, but damn, that was really cool. So, I'm going to throw a link for this one down in the description. Um, if you have a Gear VR, grab this. Check it out. I mean, it's ten minutes of your life, you know? But, uh, for me, that's going to do it, guys. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off today, y'all. Peace.